What's up with everybody? It's your boy Mookie Jones for Radio R Sports Debates, man. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications. We got a great episode for y'all today. Make sure you stay tuned. Scotty Pippen, ladies and gentlemen. Scotty Pippen once again made headlines because of the disrespect he had to his former teammate in Michael Jordan. Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan helped build one of the most dominant duos. NBA history, three-peated twice, won six championships. Um, Scottie Pippen is an all-time great player. But this hatred towards Michael Jordan is just crazy. It's crazy, man. And it, and it started years, um, like a couple years when, when Michael Jordan put out the last dance and, you know, Scottie Pippen called it fake and called it propaganda. And, you know, Scottie Pippen, who called Michael Jordan to go so many times, uh, changed his tune and started calling LeBron James the gold and, you know, he got mad because of the personal situations went with him and Michael Jordan. Um, you know, Scottie Pippen is jealous. He's jealous of Michael Jeffrey Jordan, right? And fans are blasting Scottie Pippen, man. I'm telling you, I'm talking about uh, they torching him everywhere on these social media platforms about his comments about Michael Jordan. Y'all take a listen. LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. And there's no comparison to him. None. So, does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating. Because I don't believe that there's a great player. Because our game is a team game. And one player can't do it. Like, i seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He's a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one. -on -one. He's shooting bad shots. And all of a sudden, we become a team and we start winning. Everybody forgot who he was. That's where we got to. We're calling Michael Jeffrey Jordan a horrible player because when he's able to get an established team, he was able to win. Before Scottie Pippen developed to an all-star caliber player, before Phil Jackson came along, Michael Jordan was winning MVPs. He was winning scoring titles. He won the DPOYs. He was averaging 38 and 8. So when he had the responsibility of being a shot creator, a facilitator, a ball handler, and the uh, elite point of attack defender, he was putting up great, great numbers, right? So Michael Jordan, teammates, when he was leading them guys to the playoffs, was on cokehead. They would crack. It was, it was crack. Cocaine was prevalent in the 80s. Right? His teammates was on cocaine. And he never had no no all star top tier talent of, of, of a team. Um, which you think that can make deep postseason runs to the Eastern Conference Finals. He didn't actually make a deep postseason run to the Eastern Conference Finals. But look at the teams that Michael Jordan was facing. He was facing the uh the sixty win Sydney Moncrief, Milwaukee Bucks. He was facing the um the um the greatest team of all time in the, in the Boston Celtics with four Hall of Fame players, right? right? And Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Pearson, you name it, right? He was facing the bad boy Pistons, right? And no bad boy Pistons teams were so lethal defensively, right? Um, and they were 60 win as well, right? So look at the competition that Michael Jordan had to face leading up to the NBA Finals, especially in the 80s, right? It was superior. It was top tier. Once you gave Michael Jordan the correct teammates and once Phil Jackson um, taught Michael Jordan on how to play a different system, Michael Jordan played team basketball. He was a major factor on why he was winning and he won multiple championships and he dominated the 90s. Real talk. So Scotty Pippen saying Michael Jordan is a horrible player just because he didn't win, Right. Um, it's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy because Scotty Pippen is not put in the context. Meanwhile, the guy that he's sucking up, right? Because we all know Scotty Pippen is jealous. We all know that he mad that his that Michael Jordan's son is smashing his former wife, right? We we, we know Scotty Pippen is man. We know that Scotty Pippen don't mean this, right? But Scotty Pippen don't talk about how LeBron James was losing, was getting his butt whoop in the Easter Conference Finals. Or getting them beat in the Easter Conference 
by the Celtics, by the uh, by the Lano Magic, right? He was getting put out in the second round by the Pistons. He don't talk about that when LeBron James had All Star caliber players, right? He had a great defense in the postseason, and he still lost. Even Mike Malone just said like a couple weeks ago that, bro, LeBron James is great. He was a great basketball player, but you need a team to actually win. Once LeBron James got a team, he was able to win a championship. What is Scotty talking about? Has Michael Jordan ever lost a finals, uh, on the perform of finals, right? Where he has at least two or more All-Stars? No. Michael Jordan has barely lost any playoff series when you give him at least two or more All-Stars. LeBron James had two or more All-Stars, and he had one of the biggest meltdowns in sports. So even if you gave LeBron James a team, he still had a dud in the NBA Finals. He still had help. But Scottie Pippen wants to prop up LeBron James when LeBron James had the teammates and you're still able to underperform in the NBA Finals. LeBron James and Michael Jordan, GOAT debate, it's not even close. I don't even know why it's a GOAT debate because the consistency around the NBA, the players, right, says that Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Listen to that clip. You can tell that Scottie Pippen is depressed. He's angry. He's upset. Right? But you upset at the guy in Michael Jordan who gave you credit. Who sat there and said, bro, there's no Michael Jordan without Scottie Pippen. Who sat there and said that we don't win no six championships if Scottie Pippen is not there. Right? He gave you all the credit in the book. And you still want to be a jealous, hating motherfucker. This is why I don't respect Scotty Pippen. I don't. Right? Michael Jordan did not win those championships alone. We understand that basketball is a team sport. Right? Kareem does not win those championships without an all-time great point guard and that great stacked team with the Los Angeles Lakers. The same goes for Magic. The same goes for Shaq and Kobe. They don't win without, they don't, they don't three-peat without each other. Right? The same go for LeBron James. LeBron James do not win those championships if you don't click up with D-Wade, right, and Chris Bosh, right, and monopolize the weak Easter Conference, right, and win those championships as well. You need a team to win. The thing is, is that when Michael Jordan got the established team, right, without super team, well, that's the All-Stars as well. He was able to capture six by being the best player on the team, Right. And play a winning style of basketball that we have ever seen in the sport. So, Scotty, people call this man a horrible player. When you look at Michael Jordan's resume, um, just look at the basketball player, because I don't even care about the resume. It's a basketball player, the skill, the way he can score, right? His touch around the rim, being quick on his first step, right? Where he can easily blow past anybody with his first step and his first move. Elite mid-range finisher, right? Um, great overall score, right? Uh, when he was in his prime and his peak, was one of the greatest on-ball defenders we have ever seen. Great playmaker, right? So as a basketball player, Michael Jordan can make the claim that he is the greatest offensive player of all time at his position and the greatest defender of all time at his position. He made a claim that he has the greatest offensive peak in NBA history. If not, he has that. The fact that Scottie Pippen called this man a horrible player, Scottie Pippen is just a hater. He a hater, and he need help, bro. But Scottie Pippen going through a lot of stuff. He's going through a lot of emotions, depression, you know, because Michael Jordan's son is dating his wife. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that Scottie Pippen going on. Was this the same Scottie Pippen? That when Michael Jordan left that year where he retired to go play for baseball, where he was saying, uh, where he was begging Michael Jordan to come back, right? Was it the same Scottie Pippen, right? Dude, the second three, the man had back issues. He had major issues, and they win games despite Scottie Pippen uh, missing games, right? So 
I didn't call him Michael Jordan a horrible player, but Michael Jordan was the main reason why those Bulls won the championship because he was better than you, Scotty. He was better than you, right? It's crazy. But he forget those. Forget those years, though. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for notification. I'll holler at y'all next episode. Peace, gang.